<laughs> we're all a little bit disappointed. I mean, we were pretty close. We got no numbers. Eight. Wait, eight. Oh, we've started already. This is something that we've been wanting to do since the very first day that we started traveling. We're on a seven day princess cruise, uh, traveling to the north of Spain and France. The ship we're on is called the Sapphire Princess and today we want to go and basically explore the whole thing because it is honestly like a, it's huge it's, it's like an almost a 300 meter floating city and there is just so much that we're almost a little bit overwhelmed to begin with excited but overwhelmed it was actually yesterday afternoon that we arrived at the mayflower terminal in southampton and because this is our very first cruise we really didn't know what to expect from the whole boarding process we didn't know how it was going to play out and it turns out it's very similar to boarding a plane, so it was pretty familiar really. Yeah, we literally just dropped our bags off at a drop-off point. We went through a fairly standard uh, check-in mm. process where we got our cruise cards to use on board. Those are vital, that's what we're putting everything, everything on basically. On. And then it was just a case of going through security, same kind of airport style security that we're used to, and then we got to jump on board. It took us a little while to find our room because the ship is so big, but once we got inside, our home for the next seven nights essentially. Yeah, we were pretty happy. We've got a big bed, very fluffy, very comfortable. I'm always a big fan of the TV. Big TV. We're actually really surprised at how much space there was in here. Like I really didn't expect to see a walk-in wardrobe. So mm. we can fully unpack, which is nice for a change. I'm always stoked to have a desk as well, somewhere that we can set a laptop up. Mm. Yes. Oh my God. the balcony. I can't wait till we actually have a bit more of a view than the car park. <laughs> no, but look at it. And then we've just got our own little our own little table and chairs for a little breakfast spot. our very British send-off yesterday. We actually had no idea that they were going to theme it, so it was really cool to have the little flags and everything. Um, it's a little bit cold now, so we've rugged up warm. It definitely is, isn't it? Especially because we're going to be going outside. So there are 18 floors on the ship. We're currently on the 14th floor, that's where our room is. But yeah, we're going to head right to the very top now. Which is that way, actually. Which is this way. <laughs> <laughs> made it to the very top of the ship, at least as far as we can go, and level 18 is the sports courts. We're currently in the basketball court. <laughs> See the sweet hoop behind us. From what we can tell as well, when we look down onto 17 is almost like an interim, there's only a small portion of it and it is mainly a nightclub. I'm not sure that we'll be visiting the old nightclub. But, uh, we'll probably, <laughs> at least not in the evening. No, but we'll probably just skip that and head down to the next level. Oh. It's like a flat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll choose another one. This time. There yes. we go. You got this. Is this where I stand? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> Can you cut that out? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the crowd nice. goes wild. There's no one here. I go wild. <laughs> We're at the aft of the ship at the moment, or at the back maybe, if that's the more normal term. So we can see, so if this is 18, I think that's essentially 17. Then we've got 16. Oh, I might be making some of these up. We've got a few layers anyway. This one down here is actually an adults only pool, which we're pleased to see. Nice note, there's a couple of areas on the boat where we can uh, go and hang out, including these hot tubs as well, I think. We made our way to the sanctuary. This place I think we're gonna like. I think it's the adults only kind of zen area where you can get massages, there's a pool down and in there, and it looks it looks amazing. You can probably hear there's no music or anything up the, up at the, uh, the front here, and this is the bit where uh, there's like a little Buddha statue, and just down in here is where there's the swimming pool, 
for the adults, there's the fitness center, there's a spa, and there's also apparently a full salon and barber shop and everything. So you can be on board, get a treatment, a facial and all that sort of stuff, and then get a haircut all at the same time. It literally is like a floating city here. It's insane. getting louder yeah the party's starting this is the floor that we started on this is where our room is and this oh no down one down one. Oh, down one we yeah, yeah go down one? 15 still, yeah. okay so when we get to 14 we're gonna see pools we're gonna see pizza we're gonna see parties <laughs> you can see the party on the screen This is the main pool area, and in behind here we've got a uh, pizza back there, we've got a bar in behind this bit, this is the grill, so there's hamburgers and chicken, and they do uh, hot dogs and stuff as well. And in this area here, where most people hang out on sunnier days anyway, we imagine, and then there's the TV screen which just plays random stuff throughout the day, music, party-ish sort of stuff, and then in the evenings they do like a movies under the stars, which is a really nice touch. So we're gonna keep walking in this direction now, behind us, or the way we're walking away from is where our room was. And now we're heading through, and we'll see there's an indoor pool, and there's also the buffets and everything in this direction. I couldn't walk all the way past this without talking about it though. That enormous ice cream is for the soft serve ice cream and milkshakes and malts. It looks like the ice cream is free, but this one is, uh, these are $2.50. And at any time you want, come along, grab yourself a little bit of ice cream. We'll be including that and some food 100% in, uh, in our next video. It's the indoor pool behind me, which we won't really film because I think that's where most of the kids hang out and swim. So just coming now into the buffet. This is the area that I imagine we'll probably spend a little bit of time. We'll be uh, doing a lot of eating anyway. Notice this around the boat a lot, haven't we? So yeah, hand washing stations. It's really good. They, they encourage good hygiene. So as you walk in, there's a sign that says, please wash your hands. You know, like make sure you use soap, 20 seconds or so, come in so that we can all sort of keep, keep the hygiene element alive while we're all at sea together for seven days or so. But let's go scope out some food and we'll see what sort of options there are. I just love that you can be eating and you've got a view like this looking out across the water. It's perfect. We skipped floors 12 through decks 12 through 8. We're now on 7. The reason we skip those ones is they're all the staterooms, so there's not really too much to see and do there. Level 7 is predominantly bars, restaurants, lounges, and we were just walked out into an enormous theatre. So there's shows on, I think, every single night. We're going to come to a show because this looks quite special. This is you and the VIP back here. Oh yeah, this is where I go. <laughs> This opens out onto what is probably known as the main plaza or the main promenade maybe. So you can see down uh, two or three stories. There's a guy here setting up a piano so there's probably some sort of performance about to happen. There's some shops and stuff as well on that level. We're not really, oh there's more shops there. And we think down there is the International Cafe. We heard a rumour from one of the staff members that's the best coffee on the boat. So we'll definitely be checking out that once we go a few more down because there are so many bars on this level, it's probably a good time to talk about what's included in terms of alcohol because we're definitely gonna get questions about that. Yes. So we did have the blue cards that we showed you. Those are what we carry around with us everywhere that we go. Typical like um, water and coffee and stuff and the food that we've mentioned is all included. But there is like an alcohol package. Yeah, there is a soft drink package and an alcohol oh, package. Oh, okay, we got the alcohol package. <laughs> but of course we went for the alcohol package. And you just pay a certain price uh, and yeah, basically you hand over your card whenever you need to and that's that. It's all inclusive. Or alternatively you don't and there is pricing on the things that cost money like alcohol and then you can just like buy a beer yeah, or whatever. Yeah, kind of pay as you go. Yeah, and you'll be charged the credit card that you have on your account. 
but there's another reason we came to this floor in particular. Yeah, so another reason that we're on level 7 is because we're looking for a place called Club Fusion and it is the place that you play <laughs> bingo. <laughs> so you may have seen we get quite competitive during the We definitely games. do, we definitely do. So I'm really excited and uh, we're about to meet up with our friends Stephen and Jess from Flying the Nest as well and I hear that they're also very competitive so this is going to be very it's interesting. Good. We should have bought like a hundred different sleeves so that we just knew that we would have a chance <laughs> of winning. So we came very prepared for our bingo. We are the professionals, we've got our, what do you call it, the dabber. We've got the dabber. <laughs> we've got the dabber and six uh, faces, is that what they call them? Six faces to play ours. Stephen and Jess, not quite so prepared. I've got a pencil. <laughs> One game. Well, obviously. No, we've got four games. We only have one chance of winning, though. Yeah, four four games, right? Yes. Yeah. Jackpot is a thousand, I think. One thousand one hundred. <laughs> we've we've got win, our I'm drinks already. <laughs> I hope we win. <laughs> and it's great to have so many people here for bingo. So who's ready to win some money? Great start. We must be playing with some bingo experts because so that took all of that honestly took all of about what felt like a minute. And yeah. Diane from Scotland. Congratulations. Swept in there. <laughs> <laughs> really happy for you. We're all a little bit disappointed. I mean, we were pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> we got no numbers. Eight. Wait, eight. Four. We've started already. Oh, okay. Four. Oh, this is very competitive. Okay, so none of us won, but we gave it a we gave it a good try. Good nudge. We've got so much more boats, so much more ship to see. I have to get that wording right. It's a ship. This is where the real magic happens. It's actually not that that large, is it? I mean, it's a decent floor space. There's nobody really playing the the table games. Probably kicks off a lot later on in the night, though. So at the moment, it looks like it's mostly uh, what do you call these ones, babe? What are these called? Yeah, mostly the pokey machines. Other than the casino on six, it's mostly. Most of the other restaurants and stuff. Now we're down onto five. This is the gallery, but it must be an auction or something about to be on. We just want to have a brief look at the international cafe here. There's a lot going on, so we won't hang around here. We'll come back tomorrow maybe and actually get a coffee because this is the cafe here. It's very busy right now. There's something going on over the back here. We don't have too long to hang around because uh, we've got a little bit of a, an event on tonight that we need to get back for. Well, today has been awesome exploring this whole ship. I feel like I know every every inch of it. I really, yeah. I really don't. It's still <laughs> we I did be, a lot of exploring. I bet there's still stuff in a few days' time that we're going to discover and be like, "Wow, that would have been fun to feature in the video." True, but we're all dressed up now because tonight is formal night. There's going to be a champagne waterfall, and we're going to a really nice dinner. We've got as dressed up as we possibly can. <laughs> this is as dressed as it gets for us. <laughs> got a long dress and a shirt on. I guarantee there's going to be people there. They're going to make me look like a mug, and they're going to have like nice suits yeah. and be really crisp. We travel full time. We just don't don't have that so Look, we've tried of, our best. Yeah, we, we mentioned that in the video of your go, but it's alright. It's gonna be a fun night. If you do want to see the food that we eat though, um, like we said earlier on, we are grouping all of the food together and we'll share what we eat tonight in that video, I reckon. Yeah. But either way, thank you so much for following along with today's ship tour. If you're new here, subscribe, follow along, see what the rest of the videos look like. Um, and we will catch you in the comments. Bye.